Hello, dear friends. Today, I will tell a story that teaches us very important things. Watch the video until the end as it will be very interesting. Lisa was an unplanned child. She was born when her parents had just graduated from university. Unfortunately, they perceived the birth of the child as a huge obstacle to their happiness. They wanted to pursue a career, but as they had a child, they had many difficulties with it. Then the grandparents decided to take care of their granddaughter. In fact, they insisted on the birth of the child being against abortion. So time passed. Finally, the young parents managed to find good jobs and settle down, and Lisa started to live with them. However, the girl didn't get the love and attention that every child deserves. Her parents didn't pay any attention to her. They started their business. Things were going so well that they hired a nanny to take care of the baby. Both parents preferred to devote more time to work than to their daughter. However, when Lisa was five years old, her mother became pregnant again. However, this time it was a desired pregnancy. Her parents were looking forward to the appearance of their second daughter. When Lisa's sister, Veronica, was born, everyone was very happy. The parents adored the baby and paid her all their attention. Unfortunately, the grandparents never met their second granddaughter as they had passed away. Lisa was looking at the situation and thinking, why was her sister getting everything, but she wasn't? At her age, she could already understand everything and was a very independent child. She was very sad because she didn't receive the love that only parents could give her. Several years passed and Lisa graduated from elementary school. Soon they were going to have a party to celebrate the end of the school year. The girl timidly approached her parents to ask them to buy her a new dress. They gave her some money with discontent, adding, why do you constantly keep asking for stuff? Go to the store and choose something for yourself. But Lisa wasn't like that. She asked her parents to buy something very seldomly, and since her early childhood, she had been a modest and unfussy girl. When the next morning she was heading to the store to buy a dress, she saw her parents and her sister on the way. They had bought her expensive clothes. Lisa approached them, but her parents didn't even notice her. Having returned home, the girl burst into tears because she felt that her parents hated her, but she still continued to love them. She loved them and she believed that one day they would return her love. The sister's relationship couldn't be called very good either. Veronica often blamed Lisa for her own tricks. The parents always believed her and punished the elder daughter for what she hadn't done. So the years passed. Lisa had to take care of herself and Veronica was growing up spoiled and arrogant. Lisa graduated with honors and even received a scholarship to study at a university in another city with paid accommodation. Her parents could help her to enter a much better university and rent her a nice apartment, but they didn't want to do it. Lisa returned home to collect her things before moving out, but her parents and sister didn't even notice that she was leaving. Her mother called just a couple of days later, asking Lisa where she was. She replied, Mom, I said that I would go to another city to college. But her mother's answer struck the girl. So you are no longer living with us? Then can I give your room to the maid? The girl realized that she didn't have her own room in the house anymore. She only said, Mom, I accept everything you do. I love you. Five years passed and Veronica graduated from high school. Her parents had to pay for private lessons with tutors so that the girl could pass exams. They even paid a large sum to one of the most prestigious universities in the country so that the girl was accepted. After Lisa left home, she almost never saw her parents or sister. Once or twice a year, she went home, but no one was waiting for her, and sometimes it even happened that nobody was at home. But she still missed her parents and sister. Finally, Lisa graduated from the university and was one of the best students. Therefore, immediately after graduation, one company offered her a job with a good salary. Lisa finally realized that all her efforts had not been in vain. Now she became a part of a team of specialists who traveled to other countries to work and promote the services of the company and earned a decent amount of money. Everything in the girl's life turned out perfectly despite the relationship with her relatives, or if I can say so, the absence of the relationship. But soon, Lisa found out that her parents were on the brink of ruin. They tried to do their best to prevent this and to not go bankrupt. Lisa found out about it from her mother. The girl was very happy because of her call, answered, and heard a nervous tone of voice. 
Mother didn't even ask her how she was doing and immediately came to the point of her call. Lisa, we need money. Our company is on the brink of ruin. We had to sell all our property and cars in order to avoid a complete bankruptcy of the business. Dear daughter, please don't let us down. Lisa heard the words, which she had never heard from her mother before. It was a special moment for her. She went to the nearest bank and sent them a significant amount of money. The next day, she called her parents again to find out how they were doing and whether they received the money, but no one answered. A week later, the father called Lisa again to ask for more money. It turned out that the money she had sent earlier wasn't enough. Lisa said she would send them more. She was going to give her parents most of her savings. But before that, she wanted to find someone from her family on social media. Her parents weren't registered anywhere, but she easily found her sister, Veronica. And when she saw her sister's pictures, she burst into tears. One photo showed her father standing with beer in his hand next to his car, which he said he had sold. Another picture showed her sister sitting in an expensive restaurant with her mother. All the photos were new and were posted after the girl had transferred them the money. Lisa couldn't believe it. She couldn't accept that her loved ones were deceiving her. But she firmly decided not to send them any more money. It was evident they didn't need it. A week after that, Lisa's mother called her and was indignant that she still hadn't sent the money. Lisa said that she wouldn't send them anything. Then her mother said to her, How can you do this to us? We are your family. I have given birth to you. The girl just hung up. She felt terrible because she didn't help them, but on the other hand, she understood that she was doing the right thing. Lisa had to change her phone number so as not to hear the upsetting words from her loved ones. Soon, Lisa's family had to sell all the property in order to save their business, but they still didn't succeed. They lost everything. Now they live in a small rented apartment with their youngest daughter who wasn't able to graduate from the university. But everything could have been different if they had just paid a little more attention to their elder child. Lisa had to accept the fact that they never loved her. The girl decided not to communicate with her family anymore. But everything can change because she still loves them sincerely despite all the bad things they have done. This story teaches us that you should love your children equally and you shouldn't give prominence to one of your children as it just causes harm. So Veronica, who got everything in life, achieved nothing and still lives with her parents. Lisa will always remember her family with a sore heart. That's all for today. Share this story with your friends and family, and also feel free to write your opinion in the comments below. See you later!